Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the core nine person instant cabin tent. This tent has built in LED lights. It basically pops right up and you're ready to camp. If you've been with us for a while, we actually did a video like this before. I will have a link to the other tent video down below that you can check out later. Don't worry, I'll remind you. We actually ordered this directly from Amazon. All right, look at this. So it's got a pretty decent carrying case. It's not super heavy considering how big it is. Being told that it's 41 pounds. So, oh, there's a box within a box. Great. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna be 60 seconds this first time, but it's probably good that this is double boxed, a little bit of extra protection for the whole shipping thing. It has your contents and repair parts, shows you how to prepare for setup, flatten it out, and then you basically lift the roof and eave poles. Then you extend the leg poles, of course, attach the rain fly, uh, and then stake it. Let's see how fast we can do this. Have the center mechanism, and then down here on, on both sides, there's this, this part that comes together as well. You have to get both of these sides up, and then you just extend each of the six six legs. So it's gonna be challenging with just one person. We're not centered here. I don't know, I like it, what do you think? Yeah, it's nice. Pretty sweet, huh? I, I think one of the things that I really like about this is I like the color scheme. That I really like the way the blue and the gray go together. There's a door here in the front. It's, conveniently already open and then there's a door here on this side so i think this is probably more like if you want to bring something large into here i would say this is probably going to be the way to do it this is going to be how you get in and out of it more frequently than not it has this place that you can put your shoes at and then you come in here and wow oh my gosh i just i i really like this it's just like our other tent, our Ozark Trail that was getting worn out. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Very similar in design. This looks like this is where you put in your power pack for the lights. Uh, there's little convenient things to, to hang stuff. So compared to the Ozark Trail, wow, those are smooth. I almost feel like those are a little bit nicer now they have upgraded that Ozark Trail tent. I will have a link to that down in the description as well. Just so you can check out all these tents. And if you guys want, maybe we'll review that newer Ozark Trail. Uh, let us know in the comments. If you're wondering about these, the way these work is you just tuck them in. So you could roll them up. And then this part here, if I had, if I had three arms here, um, you just sort of go like that and that'll kind of hold it. There we go, what do you think? And then zip this back down. Ta-da! Make sure um, to check all these because these can come undone as well. These just kind of come off sometimes. So the whole tent is supposed to be H2O repellent. Use your best judgment on whether or not you want to waterproof it further. Uh, there are things you can spray on your tent to, um, what's that called? Just waterproofing. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's called. Kind of drape it over and reach down to this point here if you're by yourself doing this. If it's two people, you can both just take each, each side over. Then I'm gonna pull most of it up on here. It's gonna be easier if it's not, in, if you have a lot of wind, it's gonna make us tricky, but then you kind of just slowly pull it across. And then I'm gonna rehook this one in the middle, but ultimately it's gonna go down at that corner and then take the next piece a little further along. Careful not to snag it. I'm around the back side now and I'm gonna go ahead and hook the middle piece and this back side piece. 
Oh yeah, this is going great. We're experienced with this, I guess, but these are a little different than the Ozark Trail. Now I should be able to reach and pull. We got a little snag here. All right, that probably took longer than staying the tent up. Okay, so I just wanted to show you up here real close how this works. Basically, they just clip one like this. Uh, you just pull it right here in the front. Get the, I would get the uh, Velcro on first. They gotta go below it, I think. We figured this out. You just pull this, this side down to tighten it up and you just work your way, work your way around. Um, these Velcro things do go under, underneath the clip that clips to the tent. Our last tent, um, if there was high winds, I would hook, just hook these up regardless because otherwise you get a high wind, this is going to collapse, uh, even with the stakes in the poles. And I realize this is like a tripping hazard, it seems like, but rather than have your whole tent collapse on you, it gets windy in the middle of the night. Just make sure you stake these down. We were wondering about this, like why does that look like that? But it's probably, we think it's because of this. We're running out of light. Right here, little washer thing. There we go. Oh, look at that. The key with the stakes is just to always pull them tight. Pull it towards you. So this is one of the air intake vents. There's actually one of these on each side. Um, you can either leave them flapped like this, or um, you can just basically pull it tight, and then you just use one of the uh, stakes to stake it in. That's how it it ends up looking just like that. Okay, so there's quite a lot of extra stakes you may miss right here. Is one at the at the doorway. Uh, there's one over here in the middle of these two doors that you got to stake. Very close to a root here. And then, of course, you have the three normal ones on the back plus the back air intake. And then there's one in the middle on this side as well. So. Yeah, quite a lot of those. And then of course we're gonna have to stake down the rain fly as well. Yeah, this says danger, secure guy lines to help prevent the tent from collapsing in inclement weather. Failure to do so may result in personal injury or property damage and may void the warranty. It's possible that stuff's gonna rip on you if you don't do that. You can pull it out of the bottom just like this to make it shorter so it's not like super far out. But yeah, that's like your adjustment. And then you just kind of figure out you know, you don't want it right here, but you would probably want it to be about at least here, or if not further out. And then you just basically stake it. Uh, there's a total of six. So this is the moment that we've all been waiting for, the LED lighting part. And it's just getting dark, actually. <laughs> what a coincidence. Um, so anyway, this uh, uses, um, I believe it's D batteries. So you can either go that route, getting D batteries, or you see these D batteries power a standard USB type A outlet. You can actually just use, I don't have any D batteries. You can just use something like this for power. Now, unfortunately this guy, um, you can't get this one anymore. I'll try to find something similar to this, but this is a rechargeable pack. This will last for days. And plus it's really nice to have a battery pack when you're camping to power all your stuff. Yeah, so um, we're, gonna, we're gonna use it instead of that one that they included. I'm gonna power it on by holding that button right there. See the little blue lights? It's all fully charged. And then we can zip that up. Okay, so now this is where this tent's a little bit different than our other one. It has these guys here, which you can actually see are illuminated. It's got one that says cabin and one that says nightlight. So if we hit cabin, this is what we end up with. Wow. That's very different than our other one. This has like a diffuser. Uh, meaning that it's more like soft light. Oh, so cool. Okay, and let's try, I wonder what happens if we hit it again. Has it got different brightnesses? Okay, so that's a little bit dimmer and that's off. And then, so I've been pushing this one here. It says cabin. And now if we hit nightlight, what does this do? Okay, so nightlight is just the lowest setting and it's almost like a, it looks like a different color than the other one. Yeah, so nightlight off. This is the full brightness. This is the other level. So there's really three levels and then there's off. So there's actually out here as well. Uh, that way if your kids are in there or something and you need to come up and turn the lights on or off, uh, you can totally do it from, from outside. 
And so just below uh, the light switch here, put the power thing so you can put your electrical cord up, up in here. There's a pocket on this side uh, with it looks like two, two dividers as well as on this side over here. This looks like it would be the size for a, like a drink and then less a full size divider. Hey Haley, do you like the new tent? Yeah. What's your favorite thing? Our bedroom. You have your own room? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we had some people comment in our other video about how that other tent they thought was too noticeable. Like, you know, everyone's gonna see what you're doing. And I think that this one is less because the material is darker. Uh, Daddy? What? said darker and then on my tablet I just spelled dark. You just spelled dark? Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> it's gonna get dark. Okay so this is about as close as I can get it to how my eyes are perceiving it and full brightness, half brightness, out and then that's the night light and back to full brightness. Okay, so this is uh, from the inside. This is basically the size of a double bed. This is supposed to fit two queens. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I try to answer all the questions that we get down in the comments. You know, there's always things that we don't think of when we film. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, all the things. Appreciate it, it allows us to make uh, more content just like this. That's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Okay guys, we just had an insane hailstorm happen. Like insane. So, and Jen's like, I wonder about the tent. So I just came up here. I mean, look at this. Look at these hails. Look how big that is. Okay. So the tent was out. It's obviously filthy. Uh, did it survive? Did the tent survive? Is there water in here? Okay, so obviously, I don't know guys, I think the tent survived the insane hailstorm. Um, I don't see any water in here. I tell you what, that is a true testament, right? Wow, there's a little bit of water here because that's where I stepped in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so if you're camping and a uh, hailstorm happens to come, you're gonna be safe. Holy mackerel, like what? We never have hail like that. Like, I'm in shock. I am in total shock. This is awesome. I'm gonna have a quick look around, but if, if there's anything else, if there's a hole or something, I'll let you know, but I think- Wow, I've never seen anything like that ever, like in my life. Wow, look at how many leaves got ripped down. And it's filthy now, and we were we were about to put it away. I'm gonna have to clean it off, but. All right, core, nine person, hail-proof tent. <laughs>